It's as if they're standing at the foot of a mountain and they have this abstract concept called impact. They want to have. Ha! <sighs> right guys, welcome back to See the Mountain Maths, this time in widescreen. Right, we're going to apply a method for solving quadratic equations by completing the square. Hugely requested by most of year 11 this year. So let's dive straight into this first example. You can see x squared plus 10x plus 10 equals zero. What we're gonna do, we're gonna find the solutions of x by completing the square. And this first step is what you do every single time. Look in the middle where that plus 10x is. Every time, to start us off, we're gonna half whatever is next to the x. So here we've got x plus five in the brackets squared. That is because next to the x is a 10. x plus five in brackets squared. Right, now because we've got a five squared inside the brackets, a 25, because of five squared, is going to come out. You can see here, I've now taken away five squared to get rid of that 25 coming out of those brackets. Okay, so minus 25 from the plus 10 gives us minus 15. So you can see x plus five, all squared, minus 15 equals zero. Now it gets nice and simple. Let's add 15 to both sides. So we have x plus five, all squared, equals 15. Next step, square root both sides. So we've got x plus five equals plus or minus the square root of 15, but we're not done yet. We're just gonna take away that five from the left side. So taking five from both sides gives us a final answer. So x equals minus five plus or minus the square root of 15. Okay, we're gonna follow that exact same method again. Right, let's take on x squared plus eight x plus two equals zero. Notice next to the x is the eight. In the brackets, x plus four, all squared. The four squared brings out a 16. We've gotta take that away. So we have minus 16 plus two x plus four squared minus 14 equals zero. Right, let's find the solution for x. Minus 14 goes across to the other side as we add 14 to both sides. We have x plus four all squared equals 14. Next step, square root both sides. x plus four equals plus or minus the square root of 14. Let's not forget that final step now. x equals minus four plus or minus the square root of 14. Okay. Let's do one more now. Take a moment to try this yourself and we'll go through it. All right, so we notice next to the x is 14, half it, x plus seven, all squared. Then seven squared comes out, so we need to take away that 49, what's gonna come out of the brackets. So we have x plus seven, all squared, minus 49 plus 56, simplify it. What is it? x plus seven, all squared, plus seven. Right, let's start solving now for x. We take the seven across to the other side minus seven. We now square root minus seven. Wait, we can't do that. You don't square root minus numbers. So we can literally stop there. X has no solutions because it meant was square rooting a minus number. Right, some fast paced examples for you to try. All I want you to do, I don't want you to go and find solutions for X just yet. Just get it into that format of X plus A all squared minus or plus whatever comes out. So which one do you think solves this expression here? We have x squared plus four x plus four. So A, B, C or D? Okay, you should have found it was C. X plus two all squared, it brings out a four, but the fours cancel out, four minus four, that's why I have nothing at the end. Okay, try this one without me. All right, hopefully you found this one was B, X plus two all squared, take the one. Next one. Okay, hopefully you found this one was D. And lastly, x squared plus 12x plus 46. And there we are, halving that 12, x plus six all squared plus 10. Okay, three questions, red, amber, and green. Attempt all three, pause the video now to do that, answers coming up. Okay, first answer, you should have found there was no actual solutions, was back in that scenario of trying to square root a minus number. Second one, we found x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 22. And finally, x is equal to plus or minus five. This is because you found yourself in the scenario of x equals a square root of 25. That simplifies to x equals plus or minus five. Okay. Okay, as always, we're gonna finish with an exam question. Thanks so much for watching. Now we're gonna take on more difficult examples in part two. I'll see you there, thank you.
It's as if they're standing at the foot of a mountain and they have this abstract concept called impact that they want to have in the world, which is the summit. What they don't see is the mountain.